Caroline, I'm going to start with you. Uh, Trump, he's going back to Butler. I was there when that happened. I was right in front of him on the media riser. He's going to stand pretty much in the same spot, deliver a speech where he was shot in the head. What does that say to the American people to vote? Or I think it takes a ton of guts to be able to do this. Absolutely. I call President Trump the great American warrior. Ronald Reagan may have been the great communicator, another great U.S. president who had a brush with the assassin's bullet, but President Trump is the great American warrior. You saw that. What has now become will belong to the ages, those moments after President Trump, grazed by the assassin's bullet, gets up, blood still on his face, very much still in clear and present danger, gets to his feet and says, fight, fight, fight. Of course, he has said he said those words for the crowd that day. He said them for our country. It's become a battle cry, a source of hope and inspiration inspiration for our movement, for our country. And President Trump has said and has shown he's back to work. He's back to bringing his winning message to every corner of this country, to battleground states like Pennsylvania. He has continued to carry the memory of Cory Comportor with him, of his wife and his children, Cory's bravery, his valor in protecting, giving his life for those women and children. And President Trump is ready to head back to, yes, to Butler, Pennsylvania, to be with the great American patriots there, continue bringing his winning message to an important state like Pennsylvania, and keep showing that courage is indeed contagious. I have no doubt the crowd will be big for that uh, <laughs> rally when it happens. John, let's talk about this. President Trump, he posted a video on Truth Social about the evolving media attitudes towards Kamala Harris. Let's watch this. There are reports that say that you have the lowest approval rating of any vice president. Well, there are polls that also say I have great approval ratings. <laughs> Kamala Harris's approval rating is now at 28 percent, which is uh, an historic low for any modern vice president. We're hearing it from main, mainstream media, uh, one outlet after another, one leak after another. Uh, the Kamala Harris is the worst vice president ever, the worst politician ever. We've been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I, mean, I, don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. John, you're sitting next to me. I know we're wearing boxes on TV <laughs> here, but you just looked at me. You said, wow. <laughs> Boy, they used to go hard at her, and all of a sudden, it's Kamala. <laughs> it's the best thing ever. I had no idea they went that they hard. That is very clear. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful part about television, there's always a record. Mm -hmm. That's going to be a campaign ad that's going, he should put millions of dollars behind that campaign ad for television and social media. Why? To play the words right back to the mainstream media as well as people who watch their programs. Why? Because it's an indictment. She doesn't have a record. She's, she hasn't been to the border. She's horrible in foreign relations. Look at the fact that she snubbed one of our biggest allies on the globe. So this is very clear for the American people, and there's no one better to bring it to Kamala Harris than President Trump. And hence why I'm not surprised, Caroline, that, that the campaign of Trump, you dropped this ad. I, you know, I think it's important. <laughs> the reaction from John, I'm sure, to everyone, how, how quickly we have forgotten about how bad uh, all the media thought she was until they probably got a memo from the top and said, okay, time to pump her up. <laughs> Exactly. The same liberal mainstream media that told the American people for years that Joe Biden was fine, he was sharp as a tack, he was doing cartwheels, don't believe your lying eyes. The same folks now continuing to carry water for Kamala Harris, act as her PR machine, rewrite history, try to whitewash her record on just about every issue, including the border. Kamala Harris, of course, being the border czar. That was a name that the media themselves gave to her proudly just a few years ago, now rewriting history saying, oh, no, 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 we, we never said that. But much like Kamala Harris, the media has has zero credibility. Liberal mainstream media has zero credibility with voters in this country. She is dangerously liberal. And as voters continue to find out the truth of just how dangerously liberal Kamala Harris is, how weak, failed, and incompetent she is on a host of issues, but particularly the border, as we see, no matter how hard the liberal mainstream media tries, they can give her the Hillary Clinton treatment. Uh, it does not work. Voters know the truth. And once they learn the truth about just how dangerously liberal she is, the bottom really starts to fall out on those poll numbers.